Today I'm testing a Minolta XG1 SLR. The Minolta XG1 was the second camera to appear in the XG series released in 1979. It weighs 490 grams and has shutter speeds of 1 second to 1 1,000th of a second. It's got an aperture priority mode, exposure compensation of two stops, and a neat touch switch LED viewfinder. On top of the camera we find the film rewind crank and main switch with self timer and battery check options, an exposure compensation dial, an ISO select dial, the film advance lever, and frame counter window to its right, and of course the shutter button. The XG1 also has a hot shoe mount on top of the viewfinder prism. On the side of the lens mount, there's a lens release button, a socket for a shutter release cable, and a flash sync terminal. The back door pops open by lifting the film rewind crank. There's no film check window or film memo holder, so remember what film you've loaded before you head out to shoot. On the underside of the XG1 is the tripod socket and battery compartment for two 1.5 volt 357 watch batteries. To load film into the Minolta XG1, pop open the back and load the film canister into the film take-up chamber on the left side of the camera. Pull the film leader to the right and insert the end into one of the slots on the white component in the right side of the camera, making sure that the winding teeth fit in the film perforations. Close the back door, wind the film advance lever forward until you get to the first frame. I am in the lovely Parc La Fontaine in Montreal's Plateau neighborhood. Today I'm testing a Minolta XG1 SLR with a Minolta 50mm f2 lens. Uh, this camera is pretty interesting, I'm going to have to take off my gloves because when you switch it to on, on the left side of the camera, you only need to touch your finger to the contact here, that's the shutter release button, so how you take your picture, but the little uh, sensor acts with the current of electricity in your body as well and that is what lights up the little meter inside the viewfinder so it's kind of like an old touch lamp it's a pretty neat little camera i might try a couple shots with flash let's go through park la fontaine and see how this camera works Nice little skating rink down here. Get some nice action shots. The automatic metering on the Minolta XG1 is, seems to be working great and something I've realized is that it will not allow you to pull the shutter when the scene is overexposed. It locks it from being pressed. So that's a convenient feature. You won't waste your shot on a picture that likely won't turn out. So I've moved on a very little bit from the Parc La Fontaine and now I'm on a wonderful little street called Duluth.
In terms of the XG1's grip, there's not much to speak of, but I usually always capture my thumb underneath the film advance lever. The weight is decent. I love a good, like a uh, medium weighted heavy little brick. Like I'd rather that than something that felt too light to hold on to. I, I like to feel the weight that I'm raising up when I take my shot. The shutter itself feels great when it slaps, uh, it feels like it's a little bit cushioned or something. Definitely feel it happening, but I don't feel like uh, any kind of like whipping, jarring. It doesn't feel as strong as my Nikon shutter, but I like the way that it feels. Would I recommend you the Minolta XG1? Of course, on that little meter alone. That is so cool, I've never seen anything like that. Besides that, it works exactly like any other standard SLR that you could think of. It, it's pleasing to me. I wouldn't replace my Nikons with it, but I think it's a cool little camera, decent build, does everything you need it to, why not? Go for it if you can find it. Get it for a good price. Minolta XG1. Have fun with this camera.